This video is sponsored by Timbro. Kate Bush's 1978 debut single, Wuthering Heights, has to be one of the most unusual pop songs ever written. After a two bar piano intro, we're into the verse with this highly unusual chord progression. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but this could be the only song ever to use this particular chord loop. A string of four major chords, A, F, E, and C sharp. This is a highly unusual progression of chords, and I think the best way to understand it is with a music theory concept that we see a lot in film scoring and also in classical music, but very rarely in pop music and that is chromatic medians. Chromatic medians are chords that are both the same quality, i.e. major or minor, and also either a minor or major third away from each other. And what you get when you have two chords that are a third away from each other and the same quality are two chords that aren't really technically related in the traditional sense, but they share one note in common which sort of allows them to work together despite the fact that they're not really suited to each other. So that's what we're getting here, right? We've got this A major chord moving to an F major chord. So that's two major chords, a major third away from each other, chromatic medians. And then we have an E major chord moving to a C sharp major chord. Once again, two major chords, this time a minor third away from each other. And then when the progression loops around, the C sharp chord here is also a third away from the A major chord that it precedes. So we've got a chromatic medium relationship between almost every chord here. And all of these chromatic medians lead to the sort of uncanny, slightly spooky vibe of this song. This is why chromatic medians are used so often in film scoring. They have this sort of wrong yet right sound to them. Now, when you thought this chord progression couldn't get any more unusual, after three rotations of this loop, we then get an A flat chord. How could you leave me when I needed to possess you? I hated you, I loved you too. We had A, F, E, C sharp, and now A flat. And yet it still works. So how does this work? How are we getting an A flat chord in this progression here? And why does it sound so resolved? Well, in a typical song in the key of A major, the chord A flat would not sound very resolved. But here, although we are kind of effectively in A major, the chromatic medians effectively mean that the key center is very vague. Any chord, in a way, stands a chance of sounding sort of resolved, even this A flat chord. And what's really happening here is the C sharp, or what we could call D flat, is moving by a perfect fourth to the A flat. And as I discussed before in my circle of fifths chord progression video, when chords move by a fourth or a fifth, that is such a strong and consonant relationship that even if the chord we're moving to isn't technically in the key, the fact that we're moving by the interval of a fourth or a fifth will sort of just make it work. It kind of just has to work because those two chords are so closely related. So now we enter the pre-chorus of the song. And with that, we also change key. We were more or less in the key of A major before, but now we're in the key of B flat minor. But we don't actually get a B flat minor chord during this section. We get E flat minor seven, which is the four chord, G flat, which is the six chord, and F sus four, which is the five chord. And that leads us on to the chorus, where we stay in that key of B flat minor and get a similar chord progression, this time of G flat and A flat seven. The A flat seven then resolving us to D flat and then G flat. And as you would have noticed, we get some unusual time signatures going on here. Depending on whether you count the tempo at a slower 63 BPM or a faster 126 BPM, we either have alternating bars of 5-4 and 7-4, or we have a mix of 4-4 and 2-4 in the pattern of two bars of 4-4 followed by one bar of 2-4. So after going around the chorus a couple of times, we're then returning to the verse, which of course is in a different key. And you can hear that, you can hear the sort of uplift we get as we go back into the key of A major for the verse. Ooh, it gets it gets then we 
Then after the second chorus we get a bridge. The bridge has a fairly conventional chord progression, we're in the same key as the chorus, B flat minor, so we have the 1 chord, the 7, the 6, the 4 and the 3. After a couple runs around that we get this extra little bit which, like various other moments in the song, briefly changes the metre away from 4-4. Four, four. At the age of just 18, Kate Bush wrote one of the most unlikely and unusual pop songs. A song that has gone on to be a true classic, and a song that made Kate Bush the first female artist to achieve a number one single in the UK with an entirely self-written song. Today's sponsor is a music app which is completely free to use. It's not just free as a free trial, it's free to get loads of value out of. It's Timbro. Timbro is a really straightforward interactive app that guides you through learning the guitar or the piano. Timbro presents the music in a really easy to understand way and listens to you as you're playing to give you instant feedback on whether you've played it correctly. And it's not just for beginners, many of the pieces on Timbro are really quite challenging. Timbro also has many exercises and lessons on music theory to make you a more well-rounded musician. Timbro is also great for guitar as well, not just teaching you songs, but teaching you theory that's useful on the guitar. For example, knowing which notes you're actually playing on each fret of the neck. So if you've been looking to learn the guitar or the piano, then maybe give Timbro a try and remember that it's completely free to use. So there's no risk, there's no commitment, just give it a go, download it using the links down below in the description. So that's Kate Bush's Wuthering chord progression. If you can think of any other really interesting or unique chord progressions that I could analyse in a future video, then do let me know down below in the comments. 